Our naturally curious human nature makes us constantly ponder the future. But of all the forces guiding civilization's advancements, none shapes the course of society more than the technology itself. But before we move further, if you're new here and aren't subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on what's going on in the technology and the AI world. Humans as a species have existed for an estimated 200,000 years. For the vast majority of our history, people lived as nomadic hunter-gatherers, surviving day to day without modern amenities. It was not until the agricultural revolution approximately 12,000 years ago that permanent settlements and early civilizations began to emerge. Yet even for millennia after, daily life for most ordinary people changed very little from one generation to the next. It was not until the onset of the Industrial Revolution in the late 18th century that the pace of innovation started accelerating dramatically. In just 260 years since then, new technologies have transformed human life more profoundly than in the previous 200,000 years of our existence. In sci-fi books and movies, futuristic societies are often depicted using wondrous gadgets, robots, and machines that instantly fulfill people's every need or desire. These fictional portrayals once seemed far beyond imagination. But an emerging technology called Extended Reality, or XR, may soon make these visionary sci-fi worlds feel tantalizingly real. So what exactly is Extended Reality? To understand the prospects and promise of XR, we first need to explore its core components. The term XR encompasses the combined domains of virtual reality, augmented reality, AR, and mixed reality. Let's take a closer look at each one. Virtual reality utilizes computer technology and wearable hardware to generate immersive digital environments that can either mimic realistic settings or create utterly imaginary realms. VR headsets display stereoscopic 3D visuals while directional audio, haptics, and other sensory inputs further enhance the illusion of presence. This allows users to feel transported into the virtual world fully detached from their actual physical surroundings. Although fictional concepts of virtual reality appeared decades ago, working prototypes only began emerging in the late 20th century. In the 1950s, cinematographer Morton Heilig envisioned an immersive cinema experience engaging all the senses, which he described in a prescient essay titled The Cinema of the Future. He later built a prototype in 1962 called the Sensorama, which displayed stereoscopic 3D images while emitting scents, wind, vibrations, and other sensory cues. Viewers watched short films through the large device to vividly simulate the on-screen activity. Rough and rudimentary as it was, the Sensorama marked one of the earliest attempts at virtual reality long before digital computing. Today, countless companies have now produced sophisticated VR headsets and equipment aimed at both enterprise and consumer markets. Among the most popular and advanced current VR systems are Sony's PlayStation VR, the standalone Oculus Quest line, Valve's premium Index headset, and HTC's Vive family of devices. While VR tech was initially driven largely by gaming and entertainment, it is now steadily expanding into more serious applications, including military and vocational training, medical visualization, physical therapy, industrial design, and workplace collaboration. Education represents another promising field, as VR's immersive capacities can enhance traditional teaching methods. If you're enjoying it so far, please like this video to show us support and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on what's going on in the latest technology and the AI world. Moving along to augmented reality, this next component of XR operates quite differently than the completely virtual environments of VR. Rather than replacing reality, with a simulated world, AR layers, computer-generated information and graphics on top of one's natural real-world surroundings, the overlaid digital content can include text, images, animations, 3D models, and more. This creates an enhanced hybrid experience that blends virtual elements with objects in the physical environment. 
to qualify as LR, systems must fulfill three core technical criteria. First, the combination of real and virtual content. Second, real-time interactivity and response to user actions. And third, accurate 3D registration anchoring the virtual objects to align with real spaces. The additional sensory information supplied by AR can be constructive, meaning it adds helpful context, not inherently visible, like directional arrows overlaid on roads during navigation. But it can also be destructive, masking natural sights with a layer of digital content to completely replace reality with a simulated view. This core ability to enhance but not entirely replace reality is what distinguishes AR from fully immersive VR environments. Many fun and practical AR apps are already available for smartphones today. On iPhones, Apple's Measure app lets you accurately gauge the dimensions of real-world objects, distances, and spaces simply by pointing your phone's camera. IKEA Place lets you virtually preview true-to-scale IKEA furniture in your home using AR. For exploring detailed 3D models spanning robotics, anatomy, architecture, and more, JigSpace is an impressive AR learning app with a vast built-in library. The third and final component of extended reality is mixed reality. As the name suggests, MR blends and merges real and virtual worlds together into hybrid environments. Rather than remaining distinctly separate, physical and digital objects coexist and interact in shared spaces in real time. MR builds upon AR by going beyond just overlaying graphical information. It allows the overlay content to become incorporated into the actual environment. This enables far more complex virtual slash real interplay. For example, a MR headset user could look at a real chair, then spawn a realistic virtual character who sits down plausibly on the actual chair, rather than just a superimposed image of a character. The user could also manipulate both real objects and virtual ones simultaneously. MR fundamentally integrates realities rather than keeping them partitioned. It remains similar to AR, but with far more advanced capabilities thanks to this crossover interaction between the physical and digital. In February 2019, Microsoft released their latest mixed reality headset called the HoloLens 2. It displays holographic content on transparent lenses while integrating features like eye tracking, hand tracking, spatial sound, voice input, and environment mapping. During the product reveal, Microsoft demonstrated the HoloLens 2, creating blended experiences with holograms inhabiting real spaces using spatial mapping. However, with a steep $3,500 price and limited apps, the HoloLens 2 remains intended for enterprise use only at this stage. Consumer-ready MR devices are still further out, but rapid progress is being made. And those are the core foundations, comprising extended reality, or XR, virtual, augmented, and mixed realities. Each offers distinct capabilities and use cases, from fully immersive VR to reality-enhancing AR to blended MR environments. But there are also limitations currently preventing each one from reaching its full potential. That is where the need arises for unified XR platforms that combine these technologies and pave the way for richer, multi-dimensional experiences. The ideal long-term goal is affordable XR devices capable of seamlessly shifting between VR, AR, and MR modes to suit the user's needs and context. Rather than requiring separate dedicated hardware for each, the market will eventually produce integrated solutions able to deliver comprehensive XR in a single set of smart glasses or a lightweight headset. Major tech companies are actively working to make this vision a reality. Back in May 2012, Qualcomm made waves by announcing a collaboration with 15 leading mobile operators to create XR viewers intended to work with smartphones. These lightweight XR headsets are designed to connect to phones using a USB-C cable, creating an immersive viewer akin to the Samsung Gear VR, but capable of varied XR experiences.
By leveraging phones' fast 5G connectivity and Qualcomm's Snapdragon mobile processors, the XR viewers aim to bring high-quality virtual, augmented, and mixed reality to consumers through a simple viewer shell rather than via bulky standalone headsets. Qualcomm suggests popular mobile apps could become AR experiences appearing before your eyes, while communication and content consumption are transformed. To promote quality and consistency, Qualcomm established an XR certification program covering aspects like head tracking, display calibration, motion latency, thermal build, and software compatibility. They project XR viewers could go fully wireless in the next one to four years with 5G tethered smart glasses arriving in the five to 10 year timeframe. Graphics tech leader NVIDIA is also focused on extending reality or XR tech. Their cloud XR platform streams virtual reality, augmented reality, and mixed reality content. It works by rendering complex 3D graphics on remote servers, not locally on devices. This flexible cloud approach lets developers deliver high-quality XR over the internet to various devices. Nreal Light made the first lightweight mixed reality glasses that look just like regular glasses. Weighing only 88 grams, they blend real and virtual views. The glasses have a 52-degree field of view. They connect to a computing pack and controller or a smartphone. Their coolest feature is coming as an all-in-one computer kit. As XR devices improve, the future looks exciting. I want to know what you have got to say on this.